You like my new pillow? Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. This is my new pillow. I actually got two. Oh, and this one. I have a thing for pillows. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I want to talk about my experience in Las Vegas when um, I went to the Jennifer Lopez concert. I know I did vlog the whole adventure and some of you were not able to see um, the vlog because due to the fact that I put some songs that are blocked in certain um, countries, uh, my friend from Puerto Rico, I know she didn't get a chance to see it, so I just wanted to uh, shed a little bit with you guys, talk, and tell you guys what it was like to be in Vegas and seeing Jennifer Lopez. Um, as some of you guys did see, I um, I ended up bumping into Casper, which is Jennifer Lopez's boyfriend. So that was a really cool, exciting um, experience that I want to share with you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy my outfit. I feel very tropical. Here in San Diego, late, um, yesterday and today, it was 80s, in the 80s, which is pretty crazy because it's only February. But... So I figured I want to wear my tropical outfit and it feels very, um, I feel like I'm going on a vacation or something like that. <laughs> it is really pretty. So anyways, um, let's get started with this uh, video and I want to share with you guys all the details, pictures, and all that good stuff. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, guys, we went on Friday, Saturday, and then we came back to San Diego on Sunday. Uh, we stayed at the Flamingo. That was a lot of fun. Uh, we went clubbing the night the friday the, we got there at midnight so we went clubbing we went to hakasan is in um at the mgm that was a lot of fun uh dj what's his name waki steven waki he was performing so that was a lot of fun um they were throwing cake and it was let's go let's go and lose control Friend, um, it was so much fun. Uh, my outfit got all cakey. My shoes got destroyed. Uh, there were some Steve Maddens that at the beginning of the video I showed you guys um, on my vlogging. Anyway, so the next day I was so hungover. I got very, very intoxicated the night before. Um, but it was a lot of fun though. <laughs> Anyways, so that happened on Saturday. It was a concert. So I started getting ready like about 5 p.m. We didn't, I didn't finish until like 8. So then we took a taxi because I was wearing my lubies. Because the night before, I ended up breaking my toenail. And it's like ruined right now. So I'm very bummed out about that because I'm very picky when it comes to my toenails. I like them a certain shape and stuff. But anyways, um, so that happened. I, um... We took a taxi to Planet Hollywood because it was like a block away and um, the taxi driver, and, um, he was bumping the music. I never had a taxi driver like that. So anyways, so that happened. We get to the event and um, so you enter and I couldn't vlog with my camera, with my Canon because I guess you cannot have a camera that it attaches itself. I guess it's for safety since people like they just don't want to make sure you don't have a gun or anything to, to like put in danger. Um, the artist or the singer anyways um so that happened my husband and i he's like you want to drink and i was like no i really don't want to drink so we were going towards our um towards our door like to go sit down and, and watch the the show because it was like 8 45 so it was starting at 9 so anyways i go and we went into the wrong door and then finally we went to the door and i told my husband take a picture of me he's like oh my god you and your pictures because he doesn't like taking pictures of me but anyways so i ended up as i'm coming like going outside towards the towards the exit like um this guy is coming my way and we both stop at the same time and we look at each other and i was like oh my god casper so anyways, I was like, oh my god, Casper, blah, blah, blah. I started talking to him, and my husband was outside, and he thought, well, he he was confused on what was going on, so I was talking to him, picture and, with you. and um, I told my husband, take a picture of us, and I said, do you know who these who he is, and my husband's like, no, I don't, and I was like, it's Casper, like, for a second, I got like, it's Casper, Casper, uh, anyways, so it was kind of dark where we took a picture, because I, I don't think he wanted to be in the light, because then people were going to start, like, asking for pictures, he looked pretty rushed. He looked like he was rushing. And, um... Thank you. 
Because I was not expecting to see Jennifer or Casper or anyone. I mean, because my husband didn't get the meet and greet. Um, tickets so I knew that we were just gonna watch the show and that's it I wasn't gonna see her so I didn't think of anything so I told Casper oh tell her we love her and blah blah blah, blah. Um, and he's like yeah for sure and he had his phone and um, you know how like I look so pretty but anyways my husband's like well the only reason why he talked to you is because you look so pretty <laughs> and I was like oh. I wanted to give him a hug but at the same time I didn't want to because I didn't want to be like I don't know. I didn't want to be weird, so I was like, oh, well, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. And I said bye. But it was pretty cool. It felt like I was going to see him again. And I was like, hey, maybe one day I'll do Jennifer Lopez makeup. Who knows? But anyways, the show... So that's how I um, I saw Casper, and we took a picture. The show was amazing. Uh, she brought everything. Um, I got very emotional uh, on that song. Uh, it's easy. To take the other baby. But for me, in my dreams, I choose to take this baby. I was born to do this. So tonight, I give you all I have. What the hell the song is? Feel the light? Yeah, that's right. I got very emotional. She started talking about being a mother and having kids and what is it like to to be a parent. And I felt so, I don't know, I feel like she's very dedicated to everything that she does. And also she's a very loving mother. And um, so that happened. The show was over. I We ended up, we had to like walk from Planet Hollywood all the way to the Flamingo because the taxi line was humongous to get out of there so I was like screw it we're just gonna walk um, anyways it, I don't know it made me the just the whole experience of the concert it was amazing I felt very lucky to be there and it was a birthday gift that my husband gave me on June 2015 the tickets I believe they came out in April so my husband got them for my birthday and he surprised me for it. Um, he's like, look, this is what I got for you. So I was very excited. So I waited pretty much ooh, like over seven months just to go to the concert. But he knew it was something special for me. And um, I don't know, it was just really nice. Just I think Jennifer Lopez's story is very touching and how she pretty much started from the bottom and she got to where she's at. And I love the fact that she does everything She's an, a mom, an artist, an actress, she's a designer, she's an author, like she does it all. She's a director now and now she has her show in Vegas, American Idol. I mean the list goes on and on and on and on. And it's very, very, I'm very happy to see how far she has come and I know she's going to go even farther. And she's an inspiration I think as a woman. For me, she inspires me and makes me remember that dreams come true and to dream big so that was one it was very touching to be there and to see her in person and um, I think what I enjoy the most of the concert was when she was actually talking about herself and her kids and yeah that was what me personally I enjoyed and um, yeah so I am excited I was actually in the middle of the venue so I would love to go back and maybe be at the front like where the people are standing um. but I, I did wanted to meet her but maybe another in another time I'll get the chance to do that but anyway so that was my experience for the Jennifer Lopez I didn't record as much either because I wanted to pretty much live the experience and enjoy the moment which for me it was very important for me to what have I been up to mm. uh, in March I'm gonna be going to Philadelphia Rosa is having a checkup as some of you know uh, we do get treatment in Philadelphia at Shriners Hospital so yeah it's another it's time for us to go we go every six months 
So then he's going to tell me, Dr. Bambosa is going to tell me what's going to happen. What are we going to do next? So far, we're just working on therapy and physical and occupational and all that stuff, as you guys know. And if you don't follow me on Snapchat, be sure to follow me on Snapchat so you get to see me on the daily. Um, I just share a little bit more of who I am. And yeah, so, so beautiful. I feel very tropical with this outfit. Um, it is 80 degrees already here in San Diego. I could just imagine how the summer is going to be like. Oh, anyways, if you have any requests on any other video, make sure you leave it on the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not subscribed into my channel. Be sure to do that. You don't have to, but if you want to, go ahead. <laughs> anyways, um, I will see you guys on my next video. I love you so much. Also, quick um, extras, extras, extras. Quick here, over here. I wanted to share with you guys the um, the hair color that I use to dye my hair because I know a couple of you guys have asked me. So I wanted to just combine this video and so that I don't have to make another one. Um, so anyways, what I do is I pretty much just retouch my roots at this point every other weekend or as I need it. And I get it at the beauty supply here in uh, San Diego. You can find it anywhere. And it only, it, I believe it only cost $5, $5.99. So that's pretty much all I spend for um, retouching. And I only need one box. And I apply it on my roots, like I said. Um, as you guys can see, my roots are a little dark. So I do need to go in with that again. And um, I leave it there for about 20 I'm minutes. Blonder. And then I just go in the shower and take it off. I do not apply it on the bottom of my hair. It's just the roots. So I, that's the only thing that I And the color for this is Honey Blonde. As you guys can see. So the number 10. And I guess this is the name of the brand. Cream of Nature. So I think it is for women of color. Um, this kind of uh, hair color. But it works perfectly for me. And I really, really love it. Um, in my opinion, it works better than the L'Oreal and all those other ones that I have tried. And yeah, so this is what I use for it's my pretty, hair. Pretty simple. I'm sure you ladies have color your hair. So just make sure you just get the roots. And um, well, I mean, that's just for me since I already achieved this color. But um, yeah, this is pretty much how I started with dark hair, dark brown. And then I slowly worked my way until I got to this color. Um, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and get to try this hair color or this brand if you guys want to try it since this is the one that I use. And I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you on my next video. I'll show you a tropical island right now for real. That would be so much fun.